Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Tuesday and I have your word for the day. Over the last couple of months in our word for the days, we've been looking at the New Testament commands for followers of Jesus. And as I've said a hundred times, understanding the context is crucial to understanding the commands for us today. When the Apostle Peter wrote 1 Peter, when he wrote his letter, the church was facing undeserved persecution from the government. Nero was a leader of the Roman people at the time, and Nero kept the masses entertained by persecuting Christians. He would gather Christians together and light them on fire. He would cause them to, to be eaten and torn apart by wild animals. And it wasn't because Nero didn't agree with followers of Jesus. It was honestly because he found them to be an easy target. They were people who forgave people who turned the other cheek, people who would not start a revolution to overthrow the government. In the shadow of the wave of persecution that the church was facing, Peter wrote to followers of Jesus and he said this, Respect everyone and love your Christian brothers and sisters. Fear God and respect the King. Even though followers of Jesus were facing unjust, undeserved, and harsh persecution, they were called to live as children of God anyway. How they responded when they were hurt, when they were persecuted, or when they were chased out of town demonstrated that they really trusted in God. Would you respond the same way? If you were treated harshly and cruelly, would you still respect everyone? If you were treated unjustly, would you still love your Christian brothers and sisters? Would you still respect those in leadership who were causing you trouble? See, that's the challenge of persecution. As followers of Jesus, we're called to walk as Jesus did. And when we do face trials, when we face persecution, when we experience unjust, undeserved pain, loving others in the midst of that persecution reflects the heart of Jesus. Remember what he said as he hung on the cross? He said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. So, regardless of whether or not you're persecuted or experiencing something unjust or whether everybody is loving you and giving you the attaboy, keep living like Jesus. Keep on demonstrating what it means for our faith in Jesus to lead our lives. Let faith lead your relationship with others, even those who don't deserve to be respected and loved. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, or leave a comment. God bless.